Three cases of convergence of a power series. We've seen examples in previous videos where a power series converges on an interval of x values, such as this example. This one converged on this open interval. This one converged on this interval where you uh, got 15 eighths, it converged there, but did not converge on the right endpoint. And another example in the videos was this series, power series, and it converged on this interval, which included the right endpoint, but did not include the left. So we saw that type of example. But can a power series converge for all x values, all real numbers? Of course, that would mean that the radius of convergence is infinity. So can that happen? So here's an example, this nice power series right here. It expands out looking like this. We'll do the ratio test. Divide, simplify it out. This is how uh, this got to be the next step here. Um, we come down here, take the limit as n goes to infinity of this. Of course, the x squared is positive in any way, or zero, and factors out. And then you just have this limit. And that, of course, goes to zero, so x squared times zero, which is zero. And that happens to be less than one for all x values. So the radius of convergence is infinity, and the interval of convergence is negative infinity less than x is less than infinity. In other words, all real numbers, or we just say, converges on r. So in other words, back to here, no matter what x you put in here, it's going to multiply by 0 and get 0, and 0 is less than 1. So it's interesting that, and you'll see why later, that this series here converges to cosine x for all x values. So even if your x was 20,000 pi over 3, you'd get the same value as plugging into this series if you took a far enough out n. What about this case? Can a power series converge at no x values or maybe one x value? Well, let's take this series right here, which expands out like this. Take the ratio test idea, simplifies down to this, which is equal to this. So when you take the limit, the absolute value x factors out. And this n plus 1, that limit goes to infinity no matter what x is, unless x is 0. If x equals 0, then what you get out of this series is 1 plus 0 plus 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and that adds it to 1. So the series converges in that case at x equals 0, but it diverges for all other x values. So the radius of convergence is 0 because it only, it doesn't converge for any other values about the center other than the center itself, which happened to be zero in this case.